Thank you, first question. Andrea Montolivo from FN News, the Spanish news agency. Um, so I would like to see to know your thoughts about uh, Ecuador. What do you expect from this match and what do you think of this national team? Uh, yeah. Well, I know Felix quite well, so I know what kind of football style he, he would like to play. Um, it's been, yeah, we have analyzed them, of course, really well, seen a lot of games. Um, all pretty similar, they are really aggressive, um, physical, uh, they have really strong midfielders, so I think the, the, the strength is their, their midfield trio, but still they, they play a lot on the flanks, deliver the ball from the flanks. Uh, but most of all, it's the energy in this team, it's the commitment in this team that is going to be the trickiest for us to, to defend. But in general, no, no, um, no wonder I would say this team was supposed to be the top team in this group uh, and was expected to qualify from this group. I, I can uh, surely understand uh, why everybody expects them to win this group. So they are now on, under a little bit of pressure after losing the first game. So I think they will, they will be more intensive when they, when they come and face us tomorrow. Okay, and then uh, focusing on on your team, um, how are the how are the guys, and how do you leave this moment uh, after the the first match? How important is it for you, for your for your country as well? Uh, how are you living this moment here in Vegas, by the way? Vegas is a is a wonderful city, um, and we have. We are, we are trying to enjoy the moment being in Copa America. It's, it's, a, it's a huge tournament, um, so we are trying to enjoy it. Uh, we thought after the Mexico match, it was, a, it was a good one, good performance from the players. Um, but still, we, we, we lost the game, and that is always like this for, for teams. If I can count us as underdogs in this group, the lowest ranked team in the group, uh, even though you have a good game, you, you always have the possibility of, of losing the match. So, no, we, we just want to at least show the same performance against Ecuador and let's see what it, what it brings us in. If, if we have a point or two, hopefully it will be two points, but I think the performance, we can build on that. There was a lot of positives, positives from our last game, so hoping for a better result, but hoping for at least the same performance as, as last game. You want to add to this text? Uh, well, obviously, with against Mexico, we did play a good game. We couldn't quite get the win, but I think we can take positives from it. And the boys are all in good cheer, so we're ready for the next game, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Can I do another one? Thanks. Uh, I'm enjoying this, and yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, actually, w one of the football players you have that I follow the most and that I, that I like the most since like a lot of years is Antonio. I would like to know uh, from you guys uh, how he, is he, you know, in in the locker room. Uh, I know him as a as a forward. I always like how he how he, he plays. So yeah, I would like to know from both of you. What do you think of him, both okay. in, in the pitch and outside the pitch? You're laughing, so that's no. going to be interesting, I think. Yeah, well, outside the pitch, as you can tell, he's quite a funny person, a happy person. He's, he's good to be around, you know. And, um, of course, it's, it's, it's lovely to play with him as well. He's played in the Prem for how many years? And, um, obviously, he can help you going forward with his hold-up play, with his runners in behind. And he's an experienced striker, so it's good to play with him. Yeah, a little bit crazy person. Um, <coughs> always, always like Dex said, they always fun around him. He he enjoys what he's doing, um, and amazing work rate in this guy. Uh, uh, he's a huge professional in my opinion. Uh, probably should be playing American football by by the size of of his body, but he's doing this and and the effort he put in, for example, in in our last game was amazing. The, the runs he took and the the power probably that that went into that match for 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 him was amazing and he's just leading by example he's one of the senior players in our squad so he's leading by example and it's is is fantastic to have a guy like this in our squad and in our team 
Kerry James, Football in 90. Um, I have a question for Dexter first and then one for the coach. So Dexter, um, even though you're still young, you're like a staple in the team now, you've been to pretty much all of the most recent camps. How do you find the vibes in the camp and how do you see your role in helping the newer players kind of fit in? Yeah, well, it's good, man. It's thanks to coach, you know, and of course, thanks to Jesus that I've got this opportunity to come and play for the national team, you know, and it's been amazing so far coming to these tournaments and even playing in the friendlies, having an international call up. Um, but I'm enjoying every bit of it. And um, for the young gener generation, obviously, they see that coach can give them a chance. If if we perform, he'll play us, you know, so I think it can inspire them in that way. But so far, it's been great. The atmosphere, the vibes, all the boys, since I've came in, they've all been welcoming. So I've enjoyed it by the grace. Good. And coach, um, question from the Mexico game. So in the 68th minute, you made a, a double sub, Damien for Demi and then Michael for Dish. You want to expound on your, your thinking behind the, the two substitutions? No, there was a, at this moment, I thought Mexico had the upper hand. Uh, so I just wanted fresh legs. Uh, I think our depth is always growing in the squad. So rotating is, is was in this case, I think, a good thing. Fresh legs, they came in with energy experience both. So, <clears throat> and we are planning always to go far in this competition. So we need to, to distribute the load between the players. Um, some of these players are coming in from a, a, a break or a little injuries, etc. So, ninety minutes, ninety minutes, probably not the, the the time in the in the beginning of the the tournament. But the, these changes were just to find in uh, space for fresh le fresh legs, a uh, little bit change of tactics, etc. So, uh, with no injuries or nothing, nothing on that on that side. Uh, here, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Guillermo Barros from AFP, uh, news agency. Uh, my question is for both. Uh, given the history of uh, Copa um, Jamaica and Copa America and, and coming into this edition, and also the defeat against Mexico in the first ma match, do you feel that uh, the players are feeling uh, the pressure uh, to uh, achieve uh, the first win and even, and even to score the first goal? And uh, just you have said in the past that uh, your background as a dentist sometimes have helped you in uh, to deal with these kind of uh, challenges in the locker room. Well, for sure, when you lose the first game in a competition, there is pressure on you, and I think we all know it, both the players and the staff, and and everyone knows that that the the, the second game is then much more important if you lose the first game. But if you look at Ecuador, that is. M that was predicted as the winners from this group is probably even more pressure on them. So I, I think we can come here and be relaxed and try to enjoy and, and just give us or give, give everything we have and, and see what, what that leads to in, in results. But there's always pressure in these games, but always more when you lose the first game. So we need to have something to stay in the competition and we really are doing everything to stay in the competition. We think we, we have the squad to do that. Are you feeling it? Uh, of course. In, in football, there's always pressure. Um, but I think it's good to have pressure. You know, it, it keeps you on your toes, keeps you ready for the next games to achieve what you want to achieve in the game. But um, I think it's good like any other game, like in football, you feel the pressure, but you don't think too overly of it. You just play and try to enjoy and try to stick to the game plan and win the game. So I think it's good. Uh, and um, both teams have been dealing, have been training here in, in both in uh, high uh, temperatures these days. Do you think that the the, the heat of uh, from um, the preparation can be a factor in the match? Not in the match itself, uh, but these trainings of of course take a lot of energy away from the players. Um, it's close to forty degrees. We have tried to to train really early in the morning uh, to avoid the the hottest hours. Uh, and I think that's a that's a good thing as well. So we can we can have long breaks after the trainings if the players would like to rest, uh, etc. So no, I, I think it will be a factor. Is not on one side, so it's going to be equal. But we play indoors in an air-conditioned stadium, so that is a good thing. Not to not to need to play outside in 43 degrees <laughs> at three o'clock. So no, that's a good thing that the, that the game is played indoors. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think think it will be a factor. It, it would probably not be as high tempo as if we would be training, for example, indoor all the time. 
Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for coming and uh, see you tomorrow. No question at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.